it looks like we're working this time. So, I I dropped my laptop on the watercolor palette and trying to figure that out, which is great. That's going to be super fun to fix afterwards. This is what we're dealing with now. Um, but stuff happens sometimes. So, Dad was in Chicago, which meant he got to go to Atlas. Um, I've ditched the mic. I think the mic might have been what was throwing up all the error messages, but I'm not 100% sure. So let me know if there's still weird sound issues. Um, I don't know at the moment if I can do anything about it. There is sound, I've just checked. So. I think I know what's in this bag. The lovely people at Atlas were great with him. Dad is fantastic in a lot of stores. Fountain pen stores are a bit out of his depth of knowledge. So if these are the inks I think they are, I will be opening the Story of Blue, which I've been looking for a bottle of since I got the samples months ago and decided I love the color. Um, because I just want to have a swatch of it. I know that sometimes there are a couple differences between batches. They're not 100% the same. And I also have a pen that I want to put it in already. But for the waterproof black, I won't be opening the bottle because I have all of these samples still. So I've got about a mil left in this one. And then these are each two mil. These are all from Wonder Pens. And I... I've been, I've been buying these, but because of the hand trimmer, I really struggle to fill from these and I keep making a mess. And so I've been looking for a bottle and it had been out of stock at Wonder Pens and it was out of stock at Atlas. And then the morning that dad had headed to Atlas, it was back in stock. And so I believe that there's a bottle of it in here. And I think there's a couple other things that I asked for. And so we'll see if they're in this package. So. Sailor Black. Oh, so this is my favorite waterproof black ink, and I will show you why at the end of this live. It is such a great black. Let's open the box. Oh. Use only for writing purposes. Yeah, remove cartridge and converter. So I bought a pen just for this black ink. I will say I appreciate that much like the Ferris wheel press um, tops, the sailor top has grooves to grab onto. I think it's diamine that sits just around the lid and I really struggle to get those lids off. Um, just because they're so smooth and there's nothing to really grip onto. But I really like this bottle. I have to say, I am a big fan of like artsy bottles, which is no surprise. So I'm not going to open this black bottle because I don't need to. I already have samples and I want to work through those samples first just because they're already open before I open something new. And where's the pen that I So I have, I got a pen just for. And a pen just for this black ink. It's um, a pretty cheap pen just off Amazon. But what I was looking for when I was reading reviews were, was about the nib size because I use. the uh, Stedler pigment liner in 0 0.05 and I go through about one every six weeks and so I was looking for something that I could just refill with black ink that had a pretty similar nib size and I settled on this one from Amazon and I would say that it does have a very similar nib size it's a little bit thicker maybe like a 0 0.07 it's definitely not a 0 
but it is a little bit thicker and it works pretty well. Um, I haven't had any issues with it drying up super fast and even when like the nib doesn't really seem to be starting like just running it under hot water seems to clear whatever's blocking it and getting it to write fine again and really that's what I wanted in whatever pen I was putting waterproof ink in because I didn't want to put it in a pen that I really liked. So. This was my compromise and I figured that if I did like it, it was in a rainbow pen and that was great. And if I didn't like it, I wasn't wrecking one of my nice pens and I could always just try putting the ink in a different pen. Turns out I love the ink. The ink is great. And yeah, I now have a full uh, bottle of it and uh, this pen takes about 0.5 seven ml so this is many many fills let's tuck that away and take that to the side what's next Oh, wearing and gold cards. So I asked for two different sets. One of these is for me. One of these is for mom. I might steal one of her cards though to test it out. So are these Tinkerbell or are these Treasure Cat? I am a huge Tinkerbell fan. Mom is a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. They're Tinkerbell. I'm so excited. Oh. I'm so excited. Um, we're definitely gonna swatch out on one of these. I think. Oh, there's so much fun. Uh, we're going to use the new Ferris wheel press, Royalis. I think that'll look really cool. I'm thinking about it. Story Blue. So I love this set because I have a thing for bookshops in London. We have a set of first edition Winnie the Pooh uh, prints in our house, and so uh, that we found in a bookstore in London. And so I absolutely love bookshops in London. And it just so happens that the Paris World Press uh, bookshop collection is the perfect sort of moody bookshop colors for my life. So I already have Peter Moss in the full bottle and I was looking for Story Blue. And I've been looking for it for quite a long time. Probably since, I don't know. I was looking for it before I got the Ink Charger set and I got the Ink Charger set in, I wanna say I got it in like September. So I've probably been looking for it since the spring and I wasn't able to track down a bottle. So I settled for getting the ink charger set because a shop that I know could order it in. And I decided that no, I really did need a bottle of it. And then I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it. And every time it came in stock online, there wasn't anything else I wanted and that made it hard to justify shipping. And so I just didn't get it. Um, but Atlas had it in stock. So, Dad picked up a bottle and we're definitely gonna swatch this. This is going to be a Tinkerbell card as well. And there the Cheshire Cat ones. I wish the more fun cards were easier to find in Canada. I can find the leaf ones. I can find like their ink bottle ones. I can't find the fun ones like this or Tinkerbell. And that's it. Oh, he's stuck to the list. Good for dad. So we're going to start with swatching out story blues properly. Oh, I always swatch my inks. And then we'll get into using a swatch card. 
so it's very pretty. So, do I have I guess I do want oranges. I was looking for oranges for a project. Let's sort those out. Oh. Huh. Turns out I just needed to go through my swatches. Okay, I have way more oranges than I thought. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for story blue. So that's what my vial looks like. But I've heard that some of the sample vials, especially at old batches, don't look the same. They've updated colors a bit. And so if your vial is like three years old or was like stored, like the shop had them sitting in sunlight, the colors could be different. I don't think that's going to be an issue with mine because the shop that I bought it from is literally brand new. It opened, I want to say it opened in August. So it is new, new. But still, let's look at this color. It is much more creamy. That's what I like it as much. It's not the sort of moody blue. See how it dries, but at the moment, um don't like it as much. I was really hoping for this like moody blue. Hmm. Let's see. It's also throwing on the tinker ball. But it's still not, it's much more teal. Then this, it almost reminds me of the base of, uh, is it Fentilac? Base um, that. I mean, it's even off of that. Looks sad. I was really hoping it would be the same as this. Um, And I'll be totally different colors. Wow. Like my my Madame Mulberries are different, but one was the bottle that a shop was using for sampling, and so it was out in sunlight all the time. And one is a bottle that I bought and paid for Golden Rice. And so I expected those two to be different. And even that, so a bottle that was stored in sunlight and got exposed to a bunch of, like, was out all the time. Like, there's less of a difference than a bottle brand new off the shelves and a sample vial that has not been stored in sunlight at all. 
um, my ink swatch sample that I was holding in a dark room, and these swatches aren't stored in sunlight. So, that's disappointing. I was hoping they'd be the same color. Um, and instead, this is very plain. I'm gonna try shaping this up a bit more, but I can't think that will have a huge impact on things. I'm also just gonna grab the back of this swatch paper so that I don't waste a whole another piece of swatch paper. Um, It's totally a different color. Oh, that's disappointing. Because I was really hoping for this color. Um, and that's not what I have at all. I've also somehow m messed up this wear and gall swatch by not like getting it right in the thing so let's try this again with the Ferris Wheel Press Color of the Year mostly because it's the one I have out right now so I'll just tuck these to the side This is a Royalis, and I love the front of it, and you can see the Chameleon Shifter ink. Yeah, pigment from the bottom. It's quite a lot of fun. I haven't put it in a pen yet, because I don't know what pen I put it in, and I'm not a huge fan of writing with shimmer ink day to day. I think this lit on really well. I don't know that I've got the technique for these down properly. I think like you're supposed to like maybe wet it first. There's probably some science to using these cards. Um, I'm really disappointed about the blue because this was the color I was looking for. Um, I had the pen planned out to put it in and everything. And instead, I have a blue-green, which I'm not really going to use as much. And so I'm going to have to see if somebody in the Canadian Fountain Pen group has this version that I want to get rid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah this version. Um, that being said, I really like these wear and gold cards. I don't know that you can see. I don't know that the light is good enough to see the shift on this. But they are super fun. Um, I don't think I'll do every ink I have on them because I don't have that many of them. 
but they're quite a lot of fun to use. So this is I love to see fairy swatch cards too. Oh, you missed these. Um, <laughs> these are what dad grabbed for you. <laughs> I don't know that you're still here. You are. These are what dad grabbed for you. Um, for you to play around with either with paint or inks or whatever you feel like. Um, yeah, he was already he was grabbing Tinkerbells for me and we love owls. So there we go. There's my very lovely Atlas haul. I am so excited to have finally have a bottle of this black because buying the tiny little sample vials where then mom has to fill my fountain pen um, isn't super fun, but I'm very excited to finally have a bottle of this. It's great. Um, and the fairies are super cute. I sort of wish I got two packs because um, there's only 50 cards in the pack and I've already used two of them. There are only 48 left. <laughs> so thanks for watching the Atlas haul. Um, yeah, small, but sweet. For the most part, it's everything I wanted. I'm a bit sad about the story blue, but um, I'll probably get in touch with the person for this. <laughs> Be using my Jubilee email to my advantage. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Uh, I will save this for the replay. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe um, or like or do both. I appreciate it. And. There will be more fountain pen and ink videos because I do genuinely enjoy them. Even though this is primarily a watercolor channel, I do really enjoy when I get to do fountain pen videos. <laughs>